Welcome to Pishi Bomba, I'm Claire Karatu. Now, have you ever thought of a meal and just wondered how it tastes? Or you've tried to make it countless times, but it just never comes out right? Now, I'm excited because we've been having you joining us on this very set that's pneumatic on James Gishiro Road, and we've been preparing some of your dream meals. And the good thing is we make sure you leave here when you know how to make that meal. Now I'm excited because the lady joining us on set today asked to make a very homely meal. So stay tuned and find out just what it is that we'll be making today. Thank you so much for you who have been inboxing us, wanting us to make a specific dish for you um, and to teach you how to do this. We will definitely be having you on the show. But on today's episode, I'm excited because the lady who's joining us has a little special uh, meal that she wants to learn how to make. It's going to be very, very simple, uh, but she'll join us on set and tell us what it is. Caroline Glory, please come on set and tell us <laughs> what you want to learn how to make. Hi, Caroline. Hello. You look so beautiful. Thank How are you? you? You're welcome. Too. Thank yeah. you. Now, tell us, you wanted to make a specific dish, and why is it that that's the dish that you wanted to learn how to make? Okay, um, I love, uh, I, I wanted to know how to make a chicken casserole because okay. it's a very nice meal to prepare in the house. Yes. And you know I am a working mom, yes. I'm a wife, <laughs> I have two boys. Oh. Yes, yeah, so uh, all I do is I love, love to cook. And being a home chef and uh, of course, being a banker by profession, you have to balance between the two. That's absolutely yes. true. All right, now you have mentioned home chef, so basically yes. you will be judging my food today, right? Yes, <laughs> I will be judging your food. I will definitely be judging All that. right, now yeah. the fun part about this show is not only do they learn how to make the food, yeah. they actually make the food on the show. Yeah. So today, Caroline, believe it or not, you will be cooking. But what we're going to be doing is a simple version of the casserole okay. where it's just simple chicken, potatoes, and a little bit of cheese on top, oh, aka lamb. All right, good. all right. So what we have here is okay. some potatoes. Yeah. I've chopped that so that we can make sure that it cooks really, really quick. Okay. We've some diced chicken. some chicken. Yeah. You can strip them or dice them. It's okay. up to you. We've got some mozzarella cheese. Um, you can use some Parmesan cheese and add that on top. Okay. We've got some onions, a carrot. This is tomato, blended tomato. Wow. So I've not done anything it's to easier. it. It's just blended. Exactly. Okay. If you don't have a blender, you can just grate, yeah, for those who don't have blenders. Yeah. And then we've got some oil, tomato paste, mm. some Spanish paprika, black pepper, salt, oregano, turmeric, lots of garlic because of garlic. you can never have enough garlic <laughs> a little bit of ginger yeah. some butter to go into our mashed potatoes okay. and of course our cream or milk we're using milk today today okay. yes all right now the first things first is we're mm. going to get those potatoes boiling we have some okay. water there mm. so i'm going to add ask you to please add our potatoes into the boiling water be careful it's a bit hot all right now we have we had washed our hands so it's okay just go in with your okay. hands and drop the potatoes in just nice and slow mm. there you go now the secret of having a perfect creamy mashed tasty mashed potatoes is making sure that you add your salt to your water i'm always telling people you want ocean water people ocean water ocean water, <laughs> ocean water. but for this that's for pasta so you put a lot a lot so of salt so you put not too much mm. but that's enough enough because mm. for this you see for these potatoes we've used approximately six potatoes okay um six large potatoes that we've chopped up mm. so you want two big thank you so much carol okay. so you want just two big heaped spoons of so, i mean scoops of salt going into your water okay. just like that mm. and what happens is as I'm going to do a third one. As mm. the potatoes boil, mm, yeah. then it soaks in the salt, salt. And then all you have to do is now add in your cream and your butter as you go. Okay. Exactly. So mm. you won't have a, very, a bland mashed potato. True. All right. Yeah. Now, as that is going, I'm going to ask you to kindly join me on this side because we're going to get to start to make the chicken. Yes. Right? Now, you wanted um, the, uh, the casserole to be 
saucy just a yeah. little bit saucy yeah a bit saucy because my kids are very picky eaters okay. and you have to have that meal that is really tasty for yeah. them to enjoy yeah yeah okay so of course also it's potatoes so yeah. you don't want you know choking choking as a food. Yeah. <laughs> with the dryness so yeah. we're gonna add just a little bit of sauce to that okay and that's the reason we have the tomato, the tomato taste. now i'm gonna add um i'm gonna switch on the flame okay um i love these um i love the pneumatic kitchen that we cook in because it's everything is just so oh, perfect all right so now we're gonna get into making the chicken right finally now finally but i'm yeah. going to chop up these for you the because onions. I do not want the crying situation yeah. in here. <laughs> Thank you. And you're welcome. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to roughly chop these for you. Right now we have our perfect dices of carrots, carrots. we've yes. got our perfect dices of onions, onions. Yeah. so I'm going to ask you to please add a tablespoon to your pan okay. of oil this is just some vegetable oil you can use olive oil for a healthier version mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take some as well thank okay. you Caroline now my pan is a bit wide so yeah. I'm just gonna add two tab three tablespoons okay and then what we're going to do is we're going to preheat or begin to heat our pan so that we can throw in our onions and then begin to cook the chicken. Yeah. Right? Yeah. All right. Now, um, seasoning. Seasoning of chicken is something that I always talk about. So I'm going to ask you to please grab that chicken. Okay. Um, grab the salt. Salt first. Exactly. Always the salt first and then just season our cubes. Don't be shy. We need a lot a of lot. salt to okay. go in okay. because at the end of the day, this is what gives that chicken the flavor, okay. right? Yeah. All right. Now that looks good. Just okay. let me just add a bit more. Okay. We're using four chicken breasts. Okay. So that, that way, that's the reason we're using a lot of salt. Yeah. But depending on the amount of chicken breasts you have, then you use less salt. Use less. Okay. All right. Now we're going to ask you to add a little bit of pepper into that okay. as just as our oil is getting nice and hot. Yeah. Again, don't be shy with that. Just a little bit of more there you go that's perfect okay. thank you so much and then i'm gonna add ask you to <laughs> let me get you a spoon yeah i can see <laughs> all right now here's the spoon now the next thing we do is we're gonna add some oregano, some oregano. just a little bit of it just mm. to season that chicken slightly mm. right just a tablespoon and then we've also got Spanish paprika. Okay. This gives Some it a paprika. lovely color, yeah. a nice smoky, earthy taste that's yeah. just delicious. Mm. And then of course, because we're gonna make it a turmeric version, we're going to add some turmeric in turmeric. there. Okay. All right, now give that a lovely, lovely rub. Mm. And as you're rubbing that, mm. our onions, I mean, our pan is nice and hot so yeah. that we can begin to add our onions. Okay. And as she's adding the onions and just lightly making them nice and translucent, mm. I'm gonna go ahead and chop our garlic and ginger. Okay. All right, that yeah. looks so good so far, know, right? What you this. can do in order to mix it thoroughly yeah. or rather to marinate them, you could just add a tablespoon, a tablespoon of oil, oil. Okay. and then just give that a mix, please. Okay. All right, now we've got our nicely thinly diced, I got some carrot pieces in there as well, yeah. <laughs> thinly diced um, garlic ginger yeah. that I'm going to add because it gives that aroma and flavor to the chicken. Okay. You want to just make sure that it sits in that for just a few minutes. Okay. Now you can go ahead and put that in the fridge for about an hour an just hour? to make sure that you get those flavors marinate. soaked in, exactly, yeah. to marinate it okay. completely. Okay. Alright, now she is giving that a nice lovely mix. Our oil is getting nice and heated so that we can be able to put in our onions. But we're going to go on a short break and we'll be right back. Welcome back to Pishi Bomba. My name is Claire Karatu. We have been with Caroline Glory from the Caroline Glory YouTube channel. And she suggested that we make some 
chicken casserole. <laughs> Some chicken casserole, that's yeah. right. Now we have marinated our chicken. Our oil is um, just heating up on the pan so that we can begin the frying process and we've got our potatoes that have been boiling for some time mm -hmm. now we're going to just check on those potatoes and the way you do that is you want to just grab a fork mm -hmm. and then just try and poke you see oh, they're not yet not ready yet. Yeah. yeah so you know okay. that it's not yet ready okay. all right now back to our onions please okay. pass my onions i mean the onions <laughs> and what we're going to do since our oil has been heating nice and yeah, I feel like it's good. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add half, half of, of the that. onions okay. and then you go ahead and take the other half, okay? Mm -hmm. There you go. Mm -hmm. And then you want that to just become translucent. Mm -hmm. Don't brown your onions. You just want them to slightly become translucent. Okay. And then at this point is when we're going to add in our tomato paste. Can you please pass me the tomato paste? Okay. There you go. Okay. And I'm just gonna grab a nice heaped tablespoon. Just add that over one? there. Just one tablespoon, okay. yes. And you want to cook your tomato paste just ever so lightly mm. because you just want the oil to kind of coat in those flavors. You want the tomatoes to get the flavors of the tomato paste as well. Before. And at this point, I'm gonna ask you to please pass us the chicken. The chicken The chicken, first? The okay. chicken first. So we're gonna cook the chicken first. Okay. And I'm gonna add half the chicken into mine and half the chicken into yours. Yeah, make sure you pair. Now this is nicely <laughs> turmeric marinated chicken. It's got a little bit of the Spanish paprika, a little bit of oil oregano, mm. some salt, some pepper, okay. and garlic as well, some garlic ginger. Do you remember that? Yeah, garlic. Simple, very simple, very simple right? Simple, yeah. Now you want this on medium high heat mm. so that you can not, you don't want to boil the chicken okay. because you want it to sort of nicely fry Crisp and char. And that. Exactly, Crisp. exactly. Okay. All right, now what we're gonna do at this point, our chicken has been searing for just some time. You can see it's beginning to cook. Yeah. Um, the rich color of the turmeric is just coming out coming in the oil. Right, yeah. uh, may I please have uh, the carrots? Okay. And the fun part about putting the tomato paste before mm. is you see we've not dried out the chicken. Yes. Why ita kwa kabu? Aita kwa kuku ambaye yani unachuko. Hey, kuku ni aji. Kuku ni aji. I know, right? That's All right, go ahead. Thing. Yeah. <laughs> go ahead and add the carrots into that. Just so this, what this does is adds just an element of sweetness okay. to that bite, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, now at this point is you want to add in, you want to make a well, okay? okay? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna add in our tomato, blended tomato, all right? Mm -hmm. Now into the well, the tomato goes, just pour that in there. Now because of the fact that the tomato does not have seasoning, seasoning is key, all right? Mm -hmm. We're just gonna add a pinch of salt. Just okay. a pinch. Just a pinch because we had already seasoned the chicken. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then now you can go on and taste. If it's not enough salt, you can add. You can add if more. It's, if it's too much salt, you can add more tomato puree. Okay. All right. Yeah. Now we're going to give that a lovely cook. And as you can see, mm -hmm. what happens is the tomato begins to get that color, wow. get that richness. Mm -hmm. And then you just want to mix that in completely. Mm -hmm. And the, ch the bottom of the pan scrape all that goodness. Let me tell you, this adds a lot of flavor mm -hmm. to your dish. So you just want to give that a lovely mix. And what that does is it also adds the element of a nice saucy, saucy. sauciness to the chicken. Okay. So then you've cooked your chicken. Mm. It's nice and chewy and ready. And then the tomato just sort of like makes it nice and saucy, you know. Wow. Um, you don't want to make soup. Mm. <laughs> you don't want <laughs> no to make soup. too much. So just a little yeah. bit. And then let that simmer for a couple of minutes okay. until it thickens slightly mm. and you've cooked the tomato through. Wow. That's so far simple. so good so far so good yeah Le it looks so simple <laughs> some deliciousness yes oh, it looks and it good. smells fantastic as yes, well yes. now i can't wait for you to try this okay. but before we do let's just make sure we check on our potatoes oh, and as you so can good. see we can yeah. pierce through the potato yeah. meaning that it is ready you don't want to overcook it as you can see it's starting to break so we're going to drain the water, water out first. okay and then begin to add our butter mm. and our milk okay. or our cream all right now our chicken we don't want to dry it out so we're just gonna turn this off okay that's ready mm -hmm. good to go yeah. and the secret to a good mashed potatoes not only i've seen some people um sieve the potatoes so mm -hmm. that you get a creamy 
smooth mashed potatoes mm. but generally you want to just turn that on okay. dry out the water completely Okay. Almost like kama vile unatengeneza unakaanga mokimo. Ushao mm. na unakaanga unaeka vitungu, yeah. alafu una mash. Yeah. So something similar but not exactly. But not exactly. You just mixing this and this. Can exactly. you switch this off for me? Sure, of okay. course. There you oh, go so that we don't one. dry it out. Okay, yeah. yeah, there you go. Okay. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and it's you see we're just drying out the water completely. Yeah. Once that that's nice and dry, we're going to go ahead and add just a tablespoon of butter in there. Wow. A nice tablespoon of butter so that it can begin to melt. melt. Okay. And then I'm going to ask you to begin to mash our potatoes. So be careful okay. that's a bit hot. Okay. And what I'm going to do now is as you're going, I'm going to go ahead and add just a tablespoon of milk just to make sure that we don't make it too wet. Okay. Um keep mashing it because you want it nice and creamy. All right, now this looks perfectly it mashed looks good and the good thing is that it's not for I've done a good job you've done a fantastic okay. job and as you can see it's very smooth if you want to go and make it smoother pass it under a sieve and just use a spoon oh, yeah. to pass it and, and then it will become it. absolutely smooth okay. but this is good enough because we're using it for the casserole nice. right so it's okay to have some of those chunks of um, potato, potato exactly yeah. some people add a little bit of black pepper okay um some coriander uh, dried coriander you can add that to this it's absolutely fine now comes the best part which okay. is the layering okay wow what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put yours on one half actually it tastes the same yeah. it, it pretty tastes much the tastes same, same yeah. <laughs> <laughs> why did you give me that face you're like don't I'm like do half half <laughs> <laughs> I'll help you with the chicken. Okay. okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to spoon the chicken right on your dish because okay. this is going to go into the oven. Okay. I'll just make sure we get a good amount of that chicken right okay. at the bottom. Okay. You want to layer the chicken at the bottom. You see those little pieces of carrot. You want them just to make sure that it's nice and crunchy. crunchy. Yeah. You get that lovely bite. Yeah. All right. Now I'm just going to spoon that right on top and then we're going to go ahead and flatten it. And what we're gonna do, let me just make sure I grab this and it's not so hot, hot yeah. it's fine, is we're gonna spoon this. Actually, you go ahead and spoon some of that right on top. Okay. And you want to just get a nice dollop and sort of like smear it. Okay. So just make sure we get all of that all of goodness it. out. Okay. You just want to dip it in your water okay. and then it begins to smooth oh. it out very easy. Simple, simple. Very I like the simple, trick. right? Yeah. <laughs> it's almost like ice cream. Oh. You know? <laughs> water, hot water, cold water does the Anything trick good. for exactly. Okay. Does the trick. And then what you want to do is sort of begin to flatten your your um, casserole just okay. to make sure that it's nice and leveled. All right, now go ahead and grab some cheese. Okay. Spread some love all over, all, all over, over. <laughs> all over. The more A cheese, lot. the better. Okay. The more cheese, the better. Okay. And the thing about the cheese is some people just leave the cheese as is. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to season it with just a little bit of oregano. Oregano. Oh, just oh. a pinch of it. Okay. And I like to go in also with just a little bit of salt. Okay. Just slightly, just a pinch. Mm -hmm. All right, and that's it. It's going to go into the oven mm -hmm. at 180 degrees. We're okay. going to make sure we just get that nice brown. Would you okay. like to help me with that? Yes. All right. For how long? For just until it's brown. So maybe 10 minutes should do. Okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. We're going to go to the kitchen hack segment and we'll be right back. Hello, my name is Chef David. Welcome to today's section of Kitchen Hacks. So today we're going to see how we're going to easily separate the eggshell from the egg once you're doing your boiled eggs. We're also going to see the different levels of doneness of your egg yolks depending on how much time you put them in the boiling water. The trick to boiling eggs, you have to start with boiling water and then you put your eggs in the boiling water. We use a spoon to avoid breaking the shell. So I'm um, going to do a hard boiled egg that should boil for eight minutes. 
So now that the egg has been boiling for two minutes, that's when we go in with our, the rest of the eggs. We're doing a soft boiled egg this time. So we gently place it using the spoon inside the boiling water. And then now we're going to time it for six minutes. So now that our eggs are done, we're done with the boiling part. We have our hard boiled egg here. We're going to remove it out of the water, gently place it in the container. And we have our soft boiled egg there. Once we're done, I had some ice cubes they put in the fridge a bit earlier, so we're going to use these ice cubes. And then we're going to add a bit of cold water to this. So we're going to let that sit in the cold water for about a minute. Well, the reason for this, you get that the egg coming from the water is really, really hot. And uh, you put it in the ice cube, you get the freeze thawing effect. So the, the temperature goes down and the eggshell separates itself from the egg white. So for the soft boiled egg, the yolk should be runny and it should spill out of the egg. So if I cut through the egg, you can see the yolk is still runny, still coming out of the egg. So that is a soft boiled egg. We do that for six minutes. And then we have uh, the hard boiled egg, which when you cut through, you're going to see that the yolk has solidified, but it's still yellow. Then we have a medium boiled egg, which has the runny yolk, but it's more of coagulated a bit, so it's kind of like a jelly and sticky. So those are the three donenesses when you're doing your eggs. Now it's been just under 10 minutes. We had our heat high and we raised our casserole, but it okay. is ready. It's ready. And it's browned to perfection. Wow, oh my gosh. Look, look at look that. Look at that. Oh, just this looks beautiful. Amazing. Does oh, it? Oh, yeah. thank you for making us make this. All right, and there we have it. So wow. what you want to do is when you're serving your casserole, okay. you just want to give it sliced, just some nice slices, almost like you would a lasagna. Okay. Okay. Um, and then the best thing, like I said about this, is somebody cuts according to the piece. You want a big one, don't you? Yeah, I want a really big one. A piece. really big one. I yeah. got you. <laughs> we will get you a nice big one. You just want to make sure that the cheese is nice and out of that crust. Look at that. I like Woo! the crispiness, the brownie. Yes. It looks really I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> and not only that, huh? thank you very much. And not only that, you see it's not dry. You can yeah. still see a bit of the sauce peeping out, yeah. which is exactly what you look for. So okay. I'll ask you to grab your plate okay. and then just want to bring it. Be careful you don't get burnt because the, the pan is still very, very hot straight okay. from the oven. Yeah. And you just want to get a nice big piece. Sorry. A big scoop. A very big scoop. Okay. Get everything. Get the chicken. Mm -hmm. I just want to make sure I get all that cheese there. Okay. You want to get the chicken, you want to get the mashed potatoes, you want to get the cheese. Oh, oh look, look at, at that. that. Absolutely wow. gorgeous. Yes. That's that. Oh. All right, now you need to taste and tell us what you think. Okay. <laughs> and I you can see, see you get a little bit of that sauce at the bottom yeah. as well. So you don't have a dry casserole, okay. right? Mm. All right, let me just your place? this for you. Um, no, I want you to taste it first. I will have some in just a bit. <laughs> okay. Sorry. So I'll go ahead and taste. Yes, please. Okay. I love a lot of cheese. Get the that. cheese, get the chicken. Mm. Make sure, be careful, it's hot. <laughs> be careful. Mm. It's hot. Mm. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Is it good? <laughs> it's just hot. <laughs> Mm. Oh. Mm, mm, mm. Is it good? Mm. The chicken is juicy. Mm. <laughs> I'm waiting for your opinion. <laughs> You're waiting to finish swallowing. <laughs> no, wait, wait. Mm. I want to feel everything. Okay, like, okay. Mm. The chicken is so tender. Thank you. Juicy. Yeah. <laughs> you can feel a little bit of everything. The mashed potatoes. 
the chicken the cheese it's the so cheese good is good go Your ahead airplane. oh no thank you mm. now you can be able to make this meal very easily and then you can make your own version of the sauce wow. so you can add your mushroom sauce yeah, if you want i love to. mushroom sauce it's so you're gonna to put you. this in yes you okay. can put in the mushrooms if you want to and then make a different sauce so rather than using tomatoes mm. you can go ahead and use cream but this is just a simple one that i've decided to show you so that you can basically just get the basics yeah, right yeah how do you think happiness it's happiness and something <laughs> I love about homemade food. Yes. It just boosts your energy. Right. It gives you that, it improves you, that you feel good. It's wholesome. It's not like anything you buy out there. That's true. Yes, and That's it can true. also re reduce stress or something. <laughs> I'm telling you. I always you. think that yeah. cooking is definitely a stress, a stress reliever. Yeah. So I absolutely love, um, loved having you on the show today, okay. Caroline. Thank you so much for making us Thank make you for this having lovely me. casserole. It was amazing. <laughs> it's good. It's juicy. Thank you. Good You're job. You're welcome. Thank yeah. you so much. <laughs> and of course, we do hope you at home enjoy making this casserole and just switching it up, you know, here and there. We have been at the Pneumatic Kitchen on James Vishuru. My name is Claire Karatu. Thank you. And up to next time here on Pishi Bomba. Okay.